eight months after having this shoe, I came to the realization in 2023 that this has to be my favorite Air Jordan retro release of the year. This Jordan 5 UNC to me is just one of a kind. The all UNC upper, that University Blue is just fire, bro. Of course, you got the college pack patch on the back of the shoe, but I'm happy to have these. What, like eight months after they dropped, um, I came to that finally, you know, realization that this is definitely the best one. The colorway is crazy. The material is really good. I wore these one time in a place where it got real dusty and it made me upset. I know this material, you can still clean it, but I want to keep it as original, original as possible. 10 out of 10, it's comfortable. You got to love that sock liner. I can't really find a flaw in this shoe. I mean, Jordan 5s have never really been my favorite Jordan silhouette. I think it's, you know, it's still 11s, 12s, and 13s, but the 5s are, have always been on point. The colorways have been on, you know, really good colorways on the Jordan 5s. Materials, they never go, you know, you never get really slide it on the materials with the jordan 5 the leathers are always good the new bucks the suede whatever they come in when it comes to the materials for the five is always on point and i had to talk about these because i never did a full review on my channel for the jordan 5 unc i don't know why probably just you know tripping doing so many other things but this has to be the best jordan retro release of 2023 in my opinion there's a lot of other ones out there collabs travis scott's i'm on my years but for me personally it's got to be these let me know what your favorite retro is that released in 2023. Has it released yet or was just 2023 a dud year for me or for you? We got a lot of things to look forward to in 2024, but at the time I'm making this video, November 2023, by far, it's all about the Jordan 5 UNC. You know, most shoes right now currently are sitting under retail. This shoe on my size on StockX, the last sale actually went for about $259. So the reseller is a little bit up on this, not too much because they retail for 225 bucks. So there's not really any wriggle room if you're somebody out there trying to flip these for a profit. But if you're trying to get them and you missed them when they first came out, they're not too much over retail. So that might be something you want to consider. But be mindful of where you're wearing these things at, bro. Make sure it's not too dusty and too dirty. Make sure you're not going to walk by any construction like I did. Not too many blemishes on the shoe. Still, still pretty good condition except for right here. You got that little X right there. I don't know what that came from. Taking a look at both of my pairs to see to make sure. Yeah, man, that's like really the only blemish. Everything else on this shoe is definitely on point. Trying to make sure I can preserve these for as long as possible. Because, of course, you guys know the cage might start yellowing over years. You know, I keep my shoes for a long time if I'm keeping them. We're going to try to keep these as icy as possible. Now, of course, I wore them. But the outsole still looking beautiful. Like I said, this has to be my favorite retro release of 2023. What is yours? Comment down below. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And did you guys pick up a pair? Yo, bruh, who y'all think got the best handles, yo? Man, Kyrie off tops. Hold on, better than Jamal Crawford? What? Easy. 